Well, good morning. Good happy Friday morning, West Ham fans. Let's talk about the Friday free transfer market. Yes, everybody watching the West End Network. Hope you're safe and well. Happy Friday. If you haven't gone to see, you haven't seen it already, go back and see our interview with Tim Vickery that we that Holly did yesterday. Fantastic interview, loads of insight about the Brazilian players we've been linked with. And talk about Lucas Paqueta and how that saga's viewed in Brazil. And also why Tim is not Tim Vickery, while Tim Steinden is Samba Steinden, why he's tropical Tim in terms of his pursuit of Brazilian players. Also, yesterday, the Premier League um, issued the um, the retained lists um, for West Ham, as well as every other Premier League side, um, both in terms of retained, in terms of players we're offering. The fact that Kurt Zuma's son, uh, middle name is Happy. The fact that Luke um, Cornet's name is Ganali Albert Maxwell Cornet. Um, I think it's Ganali sounds a lot better than the Maxwell, in all honesty. And also the the scholars list in terms of what's available in terms of the players going um, sort of being retained within the academy. But got me thinking. Got me thinking. Free transfers. I've I've, I've mentioned the fact that the sort of the final year group in terms of people entering their final year contract is is a plethora, it's a good word, plethora of potential um, for us to use as a transfer market to the best of our abilities. Someone like Kefam Turam, for example, would be a 50, 60, 70 million pound player, particularly when he was in a longer term contract, but now is available for a fraction of the price. Yusuf Fafana, same thing. Um, actually, the entry, but anyway, it's plenty, plenty more, plenty more people entering the final years of their contract, um, which we could take advantage of. Otherwise, if they don't get sold this summer, then obviously they could be offered a new, a foreign based club contract, um, in January and then free transfer in, in June. So they might as well get rid of him, these people, rather than sort of risk losing them for nothing. Um, but I looked at the current, the guys who are maybe out of contract now, or maybe will be coming to the end of the contract at the end of the uh, end of the summer. And uh, I thought I'd put, put 11 together. I thought, why not? Just to give you an idea of some of the players who are available. So let's start with the goalie, shall we? Let's move across a bit. Let's start with the goalie. <coughs> I've gone for uh, De Gea. Um, still a free transfer, still available for free. Um, you know, we're looking for a, you know, a third choice goalkeeper. Although he wouldn't qualify as homegrown, so he would uh, not be the um, as useful as someone like a Begovic or a Fodringham in that instance, which is how he's going to be used. Um, let's go right back. I'm going to go with Fabrizio Bustos. Uh, Fabrizio Bustos. Um, for me, he's a Really interesting player. Um, and there's not many right backs, really, whose contract is expiring. Um, but, and I suppose you could make a case for a couple of them, uh, a couple of other players. Obviously, technically, obviously, Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson technically is, will be out of contract at the end of the summer, end of the uh, January, unless we get someone in. Um, but you know, look, looking around, there's not really much. Um, yes, he's Brazilian. Cause Tim loves a Brazilian. Uh, currently playing in international, which is the same side as Vitoa as well. Um, 28 year old Argentinian and uh, would do a job. Would do a job. Um, let's go with left back. Um, I've stuck in the Rio Betis. Um, right, left back Juan Miranda, um, a player we've been linked with. Um, Looking at the list, Luke Thomas, remember him? Heavily linked with him. Um, that could be an option, you know, potentially. Um, obviously, Aaron Quest has been given a new one-year extension, but there's, I think there's an area we can improve there. Yeah, Luke Thomas, but I mean, Juan Miranda, 24, uh, Spanish 
you know, obviously playing in La Liga and uh, will be on a lot of, I think, player managers' um, lists for um, bringing in the free transfer. Centre-halves, um, I'm going to go with Mario Hermoso um, from uh, Atletico Madrid, a 28-year-old Spanish international. Um, he is available on a, his contract comes to the end. Um, now, some of these might, you know, I'm, I'm just putting this together. I'm not saying we're going to go for all of these, but just the fact is you can build an 11 quite easily with a lot of subs from free transfers. And I'm not including people like Kameda, who, and Tossin, because these guys pretty much are set to move to, um, and Kameda's is going to Crystal Palace by the sounds of it. And someone like, um, Tossin looks like he's going to Chelsea or Fulham, someone like that. Um, in terms of the other centre back, uh, Varane. Varane is available on a free transfer. Uh, the 31 year old French international from Man United. Uh, he'll be leaving unless he's offered a new deal at Old Trafford. Let's move into the cent- centre. I mean, to be honest, I could have put Lloyd Kelly in there um, from Bournemouth, from another player we linked with, left sided um, central uh, centre back. I mean, there's there's quite a few, um, but yeah, those those are the main ones. I'm going to go into the midfield. Uh, I'm going to start with um, Adrian Rabiot, the French international, 28 year old, 29 year old, sorry, from Juventus. Um, he's he's the top of the sort of list based on value in terms of um, from transfer market in terms of contracts expiring in 2024. <laughs> Still definitely got a few fantastic years ahead of him. Obviously, he's played Juventus, Paris Saint-Germain. Um, and, uh, yeah, could he grace the Premier League? Who knows? Um, alongside him, I've gone from Wilfred and Didi. Um, a player who, again, we were linked with. We have been linked with. Um, obviously, Leicester have been promoted. Uh, 27-year-old Um Nigerian international, I want to say. There was plenty more within that area. Um, as I said, we could have gone for uh, Guido Rodriguez from Rio Betis, 30-year-old Argentinian. Um, we could have gone with, who else? Let's just zoom through the list. Mm, that's probably it for the main ones. Ibrahim I- I- Sissoko from um, Salzburg. And we were, we took uh, Papa Guayo from um, Marseille, 25 year old Senegalese uh, centre midfielder, defensive centre midfielder. Um, Luka Modric is apparently still available, although he's due to be offered a one new deal with it, to be believed. Um, but yeah, let's move into mid, let's move into the attackers on the right. Not many right wingers, so to speak. I put Bertrand Traore. In there, um, he's available now. He's 28, currently playing at Villa Real, um, formerly uh, playing the Premier League. Um, yeah, obviously, he's played Villa, Chelsea, I want to say, Leon as well, uh, Bakashir from in the Turkish Super League as well. Lots of experience. Um, I didn't realize he's the cousin of Lasinia Traore. Isn't he the really tall guy we were linked to a long time ago? I believe so. I believe so. Um, I think his brother is his agent. Um, again, yeah, fast paced. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not a world beating side. This is, but a side you can put together in the ten slot. I put to Memphis Depay, another guy we were heavily linked to. I put Memphis in a sort of a cam role. Um, yeah, again, you know, you've got you've got other play people you can put in that position. Um, Rafa uh, from Benfica, the thirty-one-year-old Portuguese international, he's available. Um, who else? Obviously, Kameda, but he, we know he's going. Um, yeah, I put Memphis in that slot. Andre Gomes, you could put as a ten, maybe uh, Anthony Martial potentially. Thiago from Liverpool, um, you know, the thirty-three-year-old Spanish. Spanish international. Um, obviously, anyone else? I'm just looking down the list. Could put Nicolas Pepe, right wing. Do you remember him? Um, I think they're the, they're the main pretenders. Um, but I thought I, I've always liked Memphis to play. It's one of those players that I've always really secretly wished he'd played for West Ham sometime, just because he's one of those really, particularly not because of his time at Man United, but his time when he went to Leon, became a really good player. Really good player. We didn't see the best of him uh, when he was at Man United. On the left-hand side, 
I've gone for Alex Berry Nagura. Berry Berry Nagura. Berry Nagura. That's definitely not how you pronounce it. Um, but again, not not a ton of of out and out left wingers, so to sp- so to speak. Um, I'm just looking on our list for others, um, but I put him in because actually another guy we could have put in for attacking midfield of that cam roll was Yusuf Yaziki from Lille, uh, the 27 year old Turkish international. Could, play. could have put Ryan, Ryan Sessignon as well. Um, but I like, but Alex is Argentinian. He's currently at Athletic Bilbao, um, Spanish international as well, 28. And we know JLo loves a Spaniard like Tim loves a Brazilian. Um, and then up front, again, lots of opportunities. Could have put in um, Yuka Jovic, um, guy we've been linked to proverbially. Obviously, we played against him when we played Fiorentina in the uh, in the final last year. Could have put in Gabriel Barbosa. Do you remember we were linked to him? Che Adams, another player with it. Mitch in, uh, Batuai, another player we've been linked with. Lots of these old heads are coming to fruition. Um, anyone else there? Uh, ben Yedda, another player we were linked with many moons ago. Um, they're probably the main ones, but I've gone with the guy I've spoken about before, Ian Acho, homegrown, homegrown, and that makes them, and you know, for me, a good option off the bench. Not a starter, but a good option off the bench. So quite, quite quickly, I've been able to put, you know, to a decent, I mean, that's probably a, some very, very good players there. I would say, obviously, some are older than others. But that ain't a bad side, is it? Do us a favour. Go on Transfer Market. Look for that. Put your 11 together. Um, or if you want to just concentrate on Premier League, obviously, we've got the retained list now, so you can see who's going to be leaving. Um, you know, there's there's loads of others in there. You know, you could look at someone like um, Brandon Williams, um, Deli Alley's in the, in the mix, you know. Maybe you want my Anthony Martial, my over in that show. Who knows? But just a bit of fun for a Friday. Let me know. We'll uh, and we'll, we'll probably put some uh, a collage together of your um, free elevens. We know we're not, we're not, when we say free, they're free transfers. We know full well we have to pay. You know, signing on fees and things like that. But so I've got to say that because some will say they're not technically free. You've got to pay the agents free. I know. I know. Anyway, a bit of fun for a Friday. Take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Any news about any impending transfer rumours we'll bring to you as per usual. Have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.